Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, I was just chilling, um, and I was like, you know what would be perfect? Hot takes video. Uh, these can be pretty good. I don't want to spam these ever, I'll always say that. I feel like like if I do like a rant video or this, I, like I, I only like, I don't know. Like the, the things people like about those videos, I can only do if I'm passionate, right? So it's like, that's why like I don't ever like force like, you know, rants or community reactions and stuff like that. Like I kind of just let it happen naturally. I think the last one we did of this was Saiyan Day. So, I mean, it's been about two months. And I right now I will probably say the next one I would do would be deep into the global anniversary. Because typically for me as a YouTuber, and I feel like in Dokkan in general... Um, kind of like the biggest point of the year is like July, like, so basically July and then the end of August and September, right? Uh, Tanabata plus global anniversary and then worldwide Donald celebration. Those are like the big hot times of the year, uh, for Dokkan, right? So we'll, we'll do one, um, it probably aim towards then. Um, all right. So let's take a look at what people have to say. I saw a couple, uh, that I do hope are going to just come naturally again. I, I, I didn't want to just like grab one's that I saw ahead of time, like, but I, I don't know, maybe I should have, uh, so we got 126 quotes, we'll do some quotes, we'll do some replies, we'll, we'll kind of go down here, right, um, so l let's just jump in, let me not waste any, like, people's time here, l let's just go, uh, I'm probably gonna maybe try and aim for, like, 45 minutes, Bulma's not the best unit, I don't know if I really want to go back and forth on this, I, like, as long as you got Bulma top three, I'm cool with it, Bulma, Orange Piccolo, GT, Goku, and Vegeta, that's the top three. If you have Bulma out of the top three, delusion, I, I, I would say. Bias in some dumb, some way. There's just no way. When you see the effect Bulma has, if you want to say Orange Piccolo is the best, I mean, I'm not I'm not really fighting that so much, I don't think. No, Orange Piccolo is too good. The GT, Goku, and Vegeta are too good. But, like, we're not putting Bulma below three. Toonami! Uh, you're wasting everyone's time, Toon. Give me a, a something. You just said you could say King Vegeta is cool, and that would be dope. Uh, watch the video from Mr. Baby right here. Came up with a LR Hell Freeze a Hell Cell for a new friend summon character. Oh, okay. Uh, Angel Frieza and Angel Cell is a friend summon. Sure. What teams would they be on? Other World Warriors. Uh, transformation boost. Hmm. I, I hold on. I, I I pulled up the fierce battle link. Damn it! Neither of them are on fierce battle. God damn it! All right. Well, we're going on an early field trip here. I didn't think I would need to pull up something besides. But those two characters, they have shattering limit, right? Uh, Cell I think has less character. Who has more? I think Cell probably has more characters than Frieza. Um. All right. So we're looking for Angel Cell here. Actually, no, they are just called GT. Yeah, they're just called GT. Okay. Yeah, let, let's take a look at it. So, they, they're they both on Transformation Boost. Target, Goku, Other World Warriors. They'd be on Revenge, GT Bosses. And, yeah, they have a lot of categories, actually. Sworn Enemy, GT Bosses, Revenge, Other World Warrior, Target, Goku, and Transformation Boost. Yeah, I like it. I actually do like that. We have not... Oh, my God. We have not had a friend summon LR in five years. 2018. Holy. Okay. Sure. Uh, yeah, they're sick. Some of the best anniversary units ever. I don't really think there's going to be much um, opposition to that. Uh, just incredible, amazing anniversary for sure. Uh, Minato. Okay. This unit's better than many people in the community give her credit for. This is Kale. Don't confess Kale. Especially in Super Saiyan 2, she gets a slot when you six partner in time soon for the first three turns. She'll get a lot better. Yep, all correct. I mean, that's just... these. This is not a hot take. This is just facts. He's just spitting fire right there. Yep, for sure. LR Devilman. <laughs> now, Devilman won a world tournament. Devilman, you know, with a character. The thing is, is that, like, if anyone besides Goku fights Devilman, can they win? I, like, I think, like, Kid Buu. Would Devilman be able to kill Kid Buu? Like, because Kid Buu is just kind of like, you know, a, Kid Buu's like a force of nature, right? But, like, if you have evil in your heart, like, um, Devilman could just, like, insta-kill you. So, it's like, besides Goku, I mean, yeah, he kills anything. Uh, Stray, yeah, the, the uh, Dokkan uh, lo-fi right here. Uh, okay, Iron Kane is not evil. I agree. He does seem to get more trophies, though, for sure. 
Never got a relevant Final Form Frieza apart from the Banyu that was okay. That was during the 2018 Worldwide. Yeah, the STR one. He was pretty good. But that is kind of true. Um, Final Form Frieza. I mean, I would have to imagine if we go... Oh, it, it wouldn't pop up because of his Dokkan Awakening. But, like, that like welcome to hell Frieza would be like in one of these very first pages Th this right here this wiki has it this is the order that characters were like introduced into the game right so it's like we that that Frieza would have been way back here back then I, I am not familiar with the meta of like the first couple of months of the game but I have to imagine back then that final form Frieza had to be crazy uh, this is not a hot take, Chris. This is just a fact, yeah. They should show if your character's guarding before the turn starts. Right now, chance to guard really sucks. It's it's pretty ass. Um, and the main reason is because you don't know, right? Like, um, we just got the free-to-play tech Bulma, which we I could just refresh right here, this character. it can Her damage reduction, she has... Actually, we'll just go to the global version so I could just show it on screen easily. Um, right here. This is a great chance of 77% damage reduction, but it can proc on any hit. So you're pretty safe with Bulma. Like, if her passive is not up and, like, a boss supers her first attack, yeah, I mean, that's, that's you know, it could be bad. But a lot of these chance to guard characters, the turn will start and you are cooked and you don't even know it. If they would just simply give an indication if the character's guard did proc, it would be a massive buff to these characters. 23rd World Tournament, Goku, LR, Super Boo, um, stuff like that. This is this would help so much, right? It just, it just really would, right? And I always see, I literally, I'll always have to repeat this. The reason, like, dodge is fine, but then a chance the guard isn't, is it's the same thing. Dodge can proc in any hit. Guard, it's like, if you don't have it at the start of turn, you don't have an, any attack at all. Uh, he's good, you're as bad at the game. Nope, he sucks. Sorry. Uh, most, I mean, I, I say suck, but it's like, uh, compared to, you know, here, let, let's get real Mimi. Obviously, AGL Turles doesn't suck compared to Great Ape Nappa right here, right? But... Compared to, like, a top-tier character, yeah, he sucks, for sure. Um, a lot of these early 2022 characters are power crept now. It's it's how it goes. I mean, it's been it's been a year. It's how it goes, right? Better units come out. Uh, community fighting every day is childish. Yeah, but um, here's the thing, right? This is not a Dokkan community thing. This is the world, right? Every community has this. I mean, I'm not the biggest One Piece guy, but I mean, I can add this in. From what I've been forced to watch of One Piece, I have rather liked it always, right? Like, yes, yes. But like, I, dude, I see some of that, like how toxic they get, right? some of these One Piece fans. And it's just like, I, I feel like you say this about anything. Like I see, you know, people talking about, oh, League, League of Legends players are the worst. Oh my God, Call of Duty players are the worst, right? It's not... It's people are so quick to say, oh my god, the Dokkan community sucks, but it's probably it's every community, right? Uh, LR Bulma is not the best unit in the game. That's okay, but when you say not even close, like now that now you're just clowning. This is this is come on, come on. Look at these replies. He's, he's certainly getting cooked. What do I think about Majora's Mask? Uh, fire. Um, two thumbs up. Five stars. S plus. Uh, incredible, incredible is what we think about Majora's Mask. Uh, game should be called Dragon Ball Dokkan. Well, uh, the Z is for better marketing. Well, there you go, Dandre. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Keep in mind, when Dokkan came out, Dragon Ball Super wasn't even a thing yet. I don't even think Dragon Ball Super was, it, it wasn't even announced. Like, that. that's the thing. If Dragon Ball Super was... Like, if Dokkan came out today, it wouldn't be Dragon Ball Z Dokkan. It would just be Dragon Ball Dokkan. Because, you know, by the time Legends came out when Super was already done, right? The turn on power was already done. And the game is called Dragon Ball Legends. Because now there's a very big, popular, you know, Dragon Ball Super. Let me see. Um, I just want to... I don't know how easy I can find this. Like, like when... Because it, it was announced at some, like, when was Super first announced? 
I mean, we're getting some of this. June 14th. I, I remember what it was. It, it was like some stage event, and they, they introduced it. Uh, but this is th 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 dude, this is 500 years ago now, right? Let me just quick cl click this. Maybe this can give us a <laughs> yeah Wikipedia when Dragon Ball Super was first announced. Can we do we got a date on this? April 2015. Oh my god! Imagine we get another like 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 oh Dragon Ball's returning after five years or whatever M would be nice, huh? Yeah, never, never. Oh, but yeah, Dokkan came out in January. So Dragon Ball Super wasn't even announced yet. Remember that Dokkan would not be what it is if not for Dragon Ball Super 2, by the way. Like, Dragon Ball Super exploded Dragon Ball. People will say, oh my god, Dragon Ball Super so bad. And it's plagued by issues. But, I mean, it really propped up the Dragon Ball franchise in terms of popularity. No doubt about that. Uh, people care a little bit too much of the units top 10, sure. I mean, a lot of this, you can put at my feet and blame me for this type of thing. But, um, you know, I, I oftentimes I'm doing rankings and saying like, oh, this unit's the best, this unit's not the best. Something that I've been doing for years. But you guys know, I sit here and I tell people, okay, like, don't summon for this character. This banner doesn't have worth. For me, a lot of it is being able to kind of, like, guide players towards, like, don't summon for this. And don't give me your bullshit, whoever dares to say this, of, don't tell people what to summon for. No, fuck you. Stop it. Do not do that. Because, listen, the game is designed around getting people to spend their money, to have feelings of frustration and, like, rage buy stones and summon. This nonsense of summon whatever you want for is the quickest path towards spending, quickest path towards not having fun with the game. Summoning on everything, summoning on whatever you want, I don't think is smart. Um, and I don't think it's a good idea to put a lot of money into this game either, right? I mean, for me, you know, people go, oh my god, look at you saying that. But, like, I mean, it's, it's my job, right? Like, I, you know, I... I, I I'm not in credit card debt, right? Like, you know, YouTube is doing well. I'll just say that. But I, I got sidetracked. Anyway, the point is, uh, yeah, th this is kind of true, but it does matter how good characters are in relation to other because it can stack up to which banners are good to summon on. So, like, it does matter, right? For sure. Uh, top 40-ish units are all units you consider top tier at this point. Sure, yeah, yeah. Like, like, if I would say top tier, yeah, like top 25, top 40, top 50-ish, something like that for sure. Because, I mean, remember, you are building teams of six, right? So, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, top 100, I mean, now we're getting a bit iffy. Top 100 would include a lot of characters getting just absolutely blitzed by the toughest fight in the game, right? Um, Tech Ultimate Gohan, turn 5 to 7, still keeping up with current units. In terms of defense, yeah. I mean, yeah, turn 5 to 7. The problem with Tech Gohan nowadays, he's no longer able to tank well right at the start of the fight. That's the issue with, with Tech Gohan. Um, alright, one more, then we gotta jump into quotes. <laughs> okay, Mystic, sure. Okay, this shouldn't be a hot take, but I wish Twitter would stop pretending OG Dragon Ball is just the most hype thing over other certain content like Cooler or Z Broly. Most people recognize big time characters from Z and said that's just how it is, unfortunately. Um, sure, but I, I think more so the point is that nothing is going to top Super Saiyans. That's the actual point to make right here, I think, is that no matter what Dokkan does, they're not ever like they, they are not gonna top like in terms of a successful celebration when it's Super Saiyans. I think the only real exception to this is the new like dragon ball super forms like ultra instinct beast gohan orange piccolo i mean piccolo is not a saiyan but like the saiyan characters you know their transformations aren't super saiyans anymore right ultra ego vegeta beast gohan ui goku they're not super saiyans though like the, you see like the five character i guess there's six characters with their crazy transformations now there's um true ultra instinct goku uh, you have uh, Ultra Ego Vegeta, you have Orange Piccolo, you have Full Power Super Saiyan Broly, Beast Gohan, and Black Frieza, right? That's kind of like the top right now. Every time I see pictures of that, they are always showing Master UI Goku, but remember, it's true Ultra Instinct Goku is now the strong his strongest, so. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, Super Saiyans, you're not gonna beat that. I, I, I believe this is related to, like, a discussion over, like, you know, like, how well, like, a Dragon Ball Saga Worldwide Download Celebration would do. I, I do think it could be fairly successful. I think if they were gonna do a massive Dragon Ball Saga Worldwide, though, it, it would have been easy, right? Part 1, DKP and Kid Goku. Part 2, Piccolo Jr. and Goku. That That's what they would have done, but they just dropped that. So, I, I, I doubt... Dragon Ball Saga be worldwide? I guess it could be. I mean, Dokkan, they had no shame in dropping LR Bulma, right? So, I, anything is really on the table. Um, Krillin and Gohan are secret. No, <laughs> no. Krillin and Gohan suck ass. I can do a video on them, though. Yeah, sure. That would be fun, taking them into Sin. Really bad units, taking them against Sin can be fun. Uh, like, I did enjoy the Heroes Marathon, right? Uh, full dodge makes this character better in both Goku form and Gohan form. This is correct, and not a lot of people understand how this works. So let me take the opportunity to go over this again. So, Goku, right, is a character that needs to dodge. Here they are, right here. I want to go over this, because I, I see confusion on this topic constantly. So, Goku's a character that needs dodge, right? And he literally gets stronger with dodges. Um, Gohan, take a look at this. He builds up, right? Um, right here. So Gohan gets 58% defense the second time guard is activated. for 58% uh, attack and defense the fourth time guard is activated. And then he guaranteed guards from the sixth time guard is activated. You do not have to get hit for these buffs. It says when guard is activated. So as long as he's guarding, which he does for the first three turns guaranteed, if you dodge, it still counts. So if you give this character a full dodge build and he dodges every attack, he's still building up, right? Like, a lot of people don't understand how that works. When it says when guard is activated, all the character has to do is be guarding and you could dodge it and it still counts, right? In Janemba, Great Ape Vegeta are other characters like that. So um, that is true. Um, at this point, 100,000 million percent, I agree. Uh, the only thing with this character, though, is you do want additionals to switch into Gohan. But, I mean, this unit, they were solid, like, when they came out for, like, Red Zone Broly and who's the other character? Omega. Like, those big, long Red Zone fights. But it's just not the same now. Like, you, you know, you, these characters are so busted doing so much damage. You're blitzing these Red Zone fights in two seconds, right? Uh, no. I, I'm sorry. I cannot. I cannot. I mean, it, dude, these are goaded. These probably are the best CZAs ever. I mean, it's... I don't see nearly as much talk about these two as I should. Blue Gogeta and Blue Vegito. When they drop on Global, that's all anyone is going to be talking about. Is is how stupid these two are. Uh, that, like, Dokkan... I, all I see all day, every day is, oh my god, Dokkan is worse than ever, they're fumbling worse than ever, when a lot of it is not true, I think people are just burned out on the game, right, it's, you know, dude, the game, it, we're going into our ninth anniversary, so I think that's what a lot of it is, because it's like, when it talks about, when we're talking about things that do matter, I do feel like Dokkan has hit those a lot. Uh, maybe besides, like, the friend system updates. They, they do, like, they'll take a step forward and then, like, two steps back with that. You Typically is how that goes. But, like, these are, like, the most popular characters ever. I, I would say so. Like, who is the most popular characters ever? I think it's the fifth anniversary Blue Fusions, for sure. And they gave them the best CZAs ever. Right? Like, I, I, I think that they made these EZA characters better than one of the main anniversary headliners. That's how busted they made them, so... That is pretty good. Um, but I, I wouldn't say he's better than Bulma. I'm sorry. Uh, Bulma's part of the top three. Again, Bulma, Orange, Piccolo, Goku, and Vegeta. Uh, no. Oh, my God. This is... I mean, this... Come on. Y'all are clowning. I, I This is a hot takes video, right? So, like, let me... Uh, bro. No. Uh, no. No. I, there's just no... No... Possible way I could say this. Nah. Can't. Uh, not very impressive me, 55%, very dupe dependent. I mean, I'm not, I'm not the best judge of 55% characters. Uh, Dragon Ball Saga is a contender for one of the best teams in the game. Okay. Now, the reason this isn't actually super far from the truth, uh, one of the main reasons is because they just complemented the, the category 
with three really good free-to-play characters, and then I think the best unit in the game, Miller, are Bulma, right? But, you know, if you want to be conservative, you'd say top three unit in the game, Bulma. When you, they, these are actually some of the best free-to-play units still kind of ever released. That's why I'm probably much more high in this Golden Week celebration than most, is because, I mean, I think having some of the best units in the game, like, like best free-to-play characters that ever released being the celebration to me massively gives the celebration extra bonus points. I, th these characters are so good. Like, I can't, like, overstate enough how strong they are for free-to-play characters and how they're buffing weaker teams that need help. So, I mean, if Dokkan is doing more of this, we're, we're getting fat Ws for sure. All right, Tech Goku is not falling off like community likes to say. GT Duo didn't even kick him off his main team. Uh, I'm going to assume Yuri some about movie heroes, right? Uh, Tech BT Goku just buffed him. That's 23rd World Tournament Goku, I assume. BT, Budokai Tenkaichi Goku, probably what Yuri's saying. Still the main revival movie heroes and Earthbred Fighters. Pre people just want to pray on his downfall. I agree. People turn on this guy really fast. Um... Uh, I, I, he's certainly not quite as good, but I mean, to, I, I would, I still have him in my top 10, right? Like I, he's still up there. He's good. Uh, stacking guard revive. Like these are very strong tools. Um, he does have an attack break on his active skill as well. They literally did fix the attack break. I don't know what I want to call it. Glitch or bug where occasionally the enemy would take an action of doing nothing and it's not something that was visible to you as the player. So it just looked like you weren't attack breaking anything. You actually were. The game didn't show it to you because there was a hidden nothing action that the boss was doing. Dokkan just took that away. So now attack breaks are, are even stronger now. Um, probably bad that it's, um, you know, a, a year and a half since they've been a thing. But it's nice. We, hey, they're fixed. It's fixed. Great. Uh, AJL LR Gohan is a top 10 unit in the game. I do think you could argue it. Um, AJL Gohan, like, he, he can stack up pretty fast, get the good defense, he's got the guard. If you get caught early with another character, then Gohan himself can get cooked. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is ridiculously dominant, and there are very strong meta Android characters, the Gammas in LR Cell, um, and Android 8 that allow him to do his transformation, probably more so than even when he first came out. But above Int Gohan and SCR Cooler, I... Int Gohan, no. SCR Cooler, I think, is more of a discussion. But, I mean, I, I feel like SCR Cooler... It, it's tough. I I probably like SCR Cooler a lot more than most, like, defensive-minded players. Um, But I think SCR Cooler, like, like his team is it, just feeling like it's not really up, up to snuff compared to the newer characters coming out, right? Like, Cooler is not really <clears throat> getting huge buffs for his team. I mean, I guess Piccolo Jr., right? But, like, Cooler needs a slot one character, not a slot two or three character like Piccolo Jr. typically is going to be in a lot of these rotations. Uh, 23rd Goku is a big case of recency bias. High Chance of Guard is so frustrating. It's more so... I don't know. I wouldn't call it recency bias because that would be saying like recency bias would be he's a more hype release and like the fifth anniversary fusions or something like that. Right. Uh, what it is, is it's just a honeymoon period where everyone, a lot of, I, I swear like 99% of the community actually doesn't get this right. But when you're building the team around these characters, like nearly any character is going to look good if they're good. Like, if, if they have some skeleton of a decent kit right now, if you're completely building everything around that character, it's good, they're going to be awesome. 23rd World Tournament Goku, he's still the most recent Dokkan Fest that's come out. You know, you, people are building teams around him, and it's, yeah, if, if you do that, if you're, you know, kind of like, um, like building towards his strengths, which is him reviving, then, you know, he does become very dominant. I, uh, maybe he did get a bit overrated um but again I'll, I'll consider it more of a honeymoon period thing uh when angel pycon gets these days should be automatic contender for top three easy a little bit more defense damage reduction with this support and active he'll be cooking so pycon is actually a fairly capable option at this point 
Uh, did I do a video on him in the Sin fight? Wait a minute. We, we got to... Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. You know what I did here? I made a bookmark for this. Ah, look at me. Look at me. Well, let's go on a field trip. Did I make... A, I hate how YouTube does this here. Let's just go last video added to make it much easier. Okay. Uh, right here. Did we do an AGL PyCon video? I don't remember. I don't, I don't recall. Yeah, we've done some bad. We did. We did. We did. Okay, okay, okay. Because I was going to say, if I didn't do one, I'll do one on him. Yeah, he's decent. Um, his Ghost Usher is crazy, right? Like, a Ghost Usher active is really powerful. That's why a lot of people have disrespected the tech androids a lot. Because th they have just have a better version of PyCon's active. Um, the thing about PyCon, though, <laughs> check this out. Do you, you, you guys know why PyCon works? It's because he has dodge. It's because he's a dodge character. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you know, PyCon can't take hits. But, you know, funny enough, he could dodge, right? He's having dodge. And he supports. He doesn't need damage reduction. Nah, I don't think so. Uh, his dodge just needs to be buffed. Get get that dodge up to 70%. Um, give him some other stuff. I, I hope they go more into, like, utility. Like, don't give him, like, oh, my God, look at all this extra damage or something like that. Give him shit like, you know, Rainbow Orb Changing, Scouter Abilities, support, Stronger Support, more dodge, and you're cooking. Like, PyCon, and PyCon as a character, unless we're talking about the PyCon that's fighting Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku, where PyCon is, like, you know, I don't know, cell level or stronger, right? Like, I, like the, the, the PyCons from, like, the, the Gogeta movie, like, they're, he's a support character, like, like, his, he's a supporting character in the role, like, in the movie, right? So, uh, we'll see. They've been making strong easy A's lately. Uh, tech, okay, so I, <laughs> no, I, 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 I actually cannot agree that Tech, Tech Goku's tied with Piccolo Jr. I can't, no. I, I mean, I'll tell you guys this, too. I, I can't put 23rd Goku above God Goku, either. I, I can't. I, if I would do a list right now, I mean, this is spoilers. I'll be doing another Dokkan Fest list in probably about a week. Because I would assume it might be tonight, actually. I'm going to put this video up right after I get done recording it. We might see at 4 a.m. tonight, so it would be 4 a.m. on the 28th, the Dokkan Fest teaser. And then unit release on the 3rd. Yeah, I think it's tonight we're going to see the character at 4 a.m. tonight. Um, and then on the 31st, I think we can get the release. <clears throat> Um, so I'll probably do, like, a tier list probably in, like, the 4th, 5th, 6th, somewhere in there. And, uh, God Goku's probably gonna be two. I think Piccolo Jr., well, okay, Piccolo Jr., then God Goku, then 23rd World Tournament Goku. I don't know where the new Dokkan Fest is gonna be. Uh, as much, I, 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 I love Kale. I can't put Kale above 23rd World Tournament Goku, though. So I, I, I would settle Goku in at three, I think. LR, Goku, and Piccolo are heavily underrated. <laughs> Oh, I'm just going to ignore that. Uh, Blue Kyle Ken isn't best. Oh, okay. Well, this person, Curry, man, you're just talking bullshit. Gamma 2 is have... I, I mean no disrespect, Curry, but you're just talking nonsense, brother. I mean, these are not hot takes. These are just wrong. Gamma 2 is heavily overrated and is considerably worse than most current TURs. I'm, guys, I, I, I mean, I see this. Uh, Curry is not the only person to talk uh, negatively about Gamma 2. Do you guys know one reason why Gamma 1 is so strong? Uh, it's because Gamma 2 shares all of his links, right? Like, when you're getting these ridiculous Android Assault, which is giving you 20% defense, you're getting all these links together, and it makes Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 a lot more effective. I I'm sorry. Uh, no, Gamma 2 is not overrated. No way. No. I people forget that... The Gamma support. They're support units. Gamma 2 is supporting. He has a nullification. I, ca I can't. I can never call the Gammas overrated. No. No way. Nah. That. That's just. I'm sorry, Curry. Like th this is not a hot take. This is just wrong. Uh, among anything I'm seeing here, this is what I'm gonna highlight most. Is this? There is no chance. No way. No. 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 Nah. I can't. I can't. Uh, shout outs to Sasuke and Itachi, though. Uh, don't have a huge problem with picking Dokkan picking Goku Vegeta Fusion every anniversary. They should change it up. Give us characters like Gohan Pickle, other big name characters. Like how Legends does it. Like how Legends does it. Uh, I mean, 
Legends doesn't, though? Legends first anniversary, Vegito. Legends second anniversary, Vegito. Legends third anniversary, Gogeta. Legends fourth anniversary is UI Goku. Like, um, Slayer. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> uh, Legends did the same thing, man. <laughs> right? I, I guess this year, Goku and Frieza. Th this is the first one where it's kind of a little bit more like that. And by the way, uh, so um, th there was a secondary fusion Zamasu for the third anniversary. I guess we, we can make that point for him. But then fourth anniversary, the Ultra is Vegito again. So it's like all these anniversary units, it's Vegito, Vegito. Vegito has, in in the five anniversaries uh, of Legends, and I mean, we might get another Vegito this anniversary. We already have three like headliner Vegitos in the first four years of Legends, right? Like, like this, this is what I'm talking about, man. Come on. I, guys, anniversary is always going to be Goku and Fusions, man. Like, it's just, it's, these games are designed to make money, right? Like, it's like, you know, so they, I, I will say this though. I do think both Dokkan and Legends right now could do, you know, Beast and Orange Piccolo as anniversary headliners. Yes, they can right now. Um, it, it's, it's like UI Goku when he was first a thing in 2018, he's more hype than fusion characters. Nowadays, I don't think so. I think fusions elicit more hype than UI Goku, but that's because UI Goku is now, you know, years old, right? And the fusions are always just as raw as ever. Right now, Beast and Orange are new hotness, right? So, you know, they can compete with fusions and stuff like that. But yeah, again, Legends, because if he's talking about like, other, like, I don't know, me and Gresh are always laughing about Ice and Anniversary Ice and Nova Shenra and a lot of those other stuff. But like, those are not like the main headliners, right? Like, they literally, can I pull this up? I've spent a lot of time talking about this, and what do I always like to do? You guys know this. I always like to show these things, right? Like, I don't, I don't want to just like, like sit there and blabber away without like kind of like putting proof up on screen. I saw Legends did a really cool thing yesterday. Let me see if I can quickly find it in two seconds. I think I should be able to. Oh, I could pause the recording and find this. I found it. I found it already. Let's look at this right here. Boom. Uh, so we have, th this is kind of like this, this anniversary thing for Legends. Let's take a look at this. So again, we zoom in right here. Vegito is the main headliner for the first anniversary. Second anniversary was Blue Vegito again. And then, and then Legends Festival, UI Goku. And then in 2021, we have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. It's hard to see, but this is Fusion Zamasu. And then ding, 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 Blue Goku and Vegeta for Legends Festival. Then we get here, UI Goku. Uh, they don't. They don't show Ultra Super Vegito for some reason. And then you have, uh-oh, Goku and Vegeta, and oh, Fusions! Right? Like, guys, again, it's not, this is not a Dokkan thing. A lot of y'all just have to accept that we're going to get anniversaries and these major celebrations. It's going to be Goku, Vegeta, and Fusions. It's just how it's going to be. It doesn't mean the games can't respect these. Look at what they, look at what Dokkan just did with Bulma. Right? Like, these games can respect other characters, but a lot of y'all have got to understand that these anniversaries are fusions in Goku, right? This was good, though. Slayer gave me a real nice long talking point right there. If your comment doesn't get read in this video, blame Slayer right here. Uh, this was a bigger fun. No, 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 no. Time. No, 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 no. That's not true at all. They're good. They can be good. Raditz was literally never good. Uh, that's like... Like, see, this is not a hot take. This is just wrong, right? Like, there's no way. I can't. No, 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 no. Defense will always be better than offense. Yeah, that's true. I almost don't want... I see... I I, I don't... I have not read past this word yet. I don't want to. Uh, yeah, this is good. Yep. Defense will always be better than offense. True. But it's crazy how much we stop caring about damage as a whole unit could hit third... Well, well, well wait, 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 wait. All right. Now, everyone knows Allen, right? Mimi Allen. The funny thing about Alan, Alan does make a lot of good points oftentimes. A lot of people have missed this, but these really strong defensive characters are hitting like rocket launchers as well. LR Bulma is a ridiculously strong defensive character, and she does so much goddamn damage. That's the thing. These characters aren't really like just defense or just offense. Most of them are typically both right? Like, it's not, they're not, like, dramatically unbalanced towards one side. 
besides, um, I, I guess Pan, Do Confess Pan, a character I hate. <laughs> yeah, is is pretty much only offense. I hate Pan. I think she sucks. Her design is horrible. I cannot stand Pan. Um, that's that's a good example of a character because if you just build a team of really strong defensive characters, right? So, you know, Vegeta and Trunks, uh, my, my brain is not working all of a sudden, but you guys, uh, you know, Dokkan Fest God Goku would count, right? A lot of the characters like that, they're doing insane amounts of damage as well. Uh, and this is also not true. A unit could 30 million guaranteed crit and we just throw up our hands. No, because I think Blue Cow can Goku's the best easy ATUR, so... A lot of times I don't care. It's like, oh, damage. Yeah, every unit could do it. But there comes a point where it's like, oh, well, yeah, damage is damage. But then there's damage. And it's like, Blue Cow King Goku is doing damage, right? Like, you get it. You get it. All right, let's see. Bolt. Uh, as of right now, Kid Goku surpassed Game 1 as a defend uh, Dokkan Fest exclusive to UR because it's utility. It's been insanely buffed. Bulma was a key factor in my take here. Uh, Bulma is a huge Kid Goku buff, for sure. Unit super, the characters synchronize well. I found it to be pretty easy for both of them to get their orbs, right? But I I, I can't put Kid Goku above Gamma 1. I, I can't. I Gamma 1, to me, can really eat the biggest boss's attacks in the game, and Kid Goku cannot, oftentimes. I mean, I'm talking, you know, Metal Cooler core level of damage, right? Which most characters can't take that, but Gamma 1 can. And and that's one of the reasons I do put Gamma 1 above Kid Goku. A again, people, like, love Kid Goku's utility and his, his support and stuff like that. Gamma 1 supports. Gamma 1 has a, a counter nullification, right? Like, these are... I, I swear, a lot of people underrate how good the Gammas actually are. People don't really talk. I never see anyone talk about their nullifications or support. And remember, Gamma 1 now has a nullification. That was a huge thing with me when they first came out is Gamma 2 has a nullification and Gamma 1 just has this shitty counter. Well, now counters are nullifications, so Gamma 1 got buffed with that update. It's just uh, melee uh, super attack bosses are not super common, right? Uh, I disagree, though. I this This, to me, is like... I disagree, but I'm not, like, grabbing someone by the neck disagreeing. Like, no! Like, I'm putting Gamma 1 above it, but, like, I, I can at least see the argument with Kid Goku, for sure. Uh, Community loves to overrate mid-characters? There are lots. Well, I mean, JB, I'm gonna need some examples here. Like, you know, there are a lot. Like who? <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. Who needs a whole setup to work, but downplays unit is really good, but not hype enough trunks. Oh, yeah. Uh, Trunks and Vegeta, dude, there's straight up delusion around this unit. I see people, like, every day people are like, finally, they're not top 10. Like, I, I people have been saying this, like, I don't know. The anti-Vegeta and Trunks thing is very odd to me. Um, now, if you want to say they weren't hype enough, eh, sure. A lot of people were saying that when they were announced as a Tanabata character last year. Um, and I feel like they were, their role was really strengthened by how good quality the animations were. So I'm really looking forward to the uh, Tanabata LR, which is just about a month away now. Probably going to have crazy animations. Uh, Blue Fusion Z is probably the best design units. I think you can make a good case. Yeah, they're very, very well designed. I agree. I agree. Very well designed. Yeah, for sure. Boss that lock in place are dumb. Yep, because it's... The reason this is so dumb is this takes away counterplay a lot, right? Like, if, you know, you're not using items, you don't have a counter to it the boss just decides so i get it uh no 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 no. super 17 is a lot it's not even close super 17 is way better the problem is that you swap into gohan these days and gohan gets slapped around that does not happen to super 17 it does not gohan needs to take four hits before he's really tanking you know i'm not lying man go against any of these tough bosses they could slap gohan around Back when this unit first came out, you know, again, what I was talking about, there weren't all these huge damage dealers flying around, evaporating these bosses in two hits, right? So it, it's like you would get Gohan, Gohan would be fully built up going into the last phase. Now you're swapping into Gohan halfway through the last phase, right? 
Uh, no. No, 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 no. I, very noble to have a defense. Why is this unit coming up? What? Dude, what the fuck? Why is this unit coming up so much in this video? What is going on? What the hell? I People... I, I have not seen any talk of this character for, like, months, basically. Until recently, I've seen some discussion about this. Now, this they popped up a million times in here. Okay. I don't agree. No, no way. I'm sorry. I Goku with the, the dodges can be cool. But, like, Gohan, man, it's just... It takes so long to get him out. And then he has to get hit. Eh? EGL Bardock. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, guard chance should be changed to work the same way that damage reduction chance works. Yeah, where it could proc any hit, and then it's up. That would make chance to guard units. They would be so busted, yeah. 23rd World Tournament Goku would be as good as pe would be as good as people think he is right now, if that happened. LR Super Boo would get buffed so crazily. It would be insane. LR Super Boo would be way better if it were, if it just worked like that. Global getting tickets for major banners is actually bad for the game. I... What? No. I, what's the argument for that? What? I, I, I'm sorry, Jamal. I don't I don't see, even see the argument. How would global getting tickets be bad for the game? I, I guess if you're someone where it's like... I, I mean, okay. I guess you're going to say global is treated better. As a JP player, I hate that. Sure. That that's like the only thing I feel like you could say cuz it's like to me I'd like the games to be treated equal, but the thing about global getting tickets uh, there are occasionally a thing called uh global shenanigans, global shafts that happen, you know, regularly, I would say, that do kind of make up for it. Um but like this is only good for free to play players, low spending players. I do not think it's bad for the game at all. LR Janemba versus Sin. I could do that. Yeah, we can. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I the amount of discussion for Beast Gohan is sickening for sure. To still at this point. Uh, listen, nobody is gonna consider Dokkan getting a pity system as a hot take. That's what everyone wants. I think Dokkan will do it once Dokkan begins to fall off. As much as people wish it was true, oh my god, Dokkan has fallen off, stuff like that, they actually haven't. Once they start to fall off, that is when I think Pity would be implemented. But it's like, Dokkan would have been top grossing with 23rd World Tournament Goku, but apparently Fate dropped, like, the holy grail of characters that they could drop, right? So Dokkan was only two in this celebration. Path to Power Kid Goku is a character that would have been top grossing, but like the the Google Play mate like bullshit or whatever, so Dokkan couldn't drop the sales for several days, right? Hurt Path to Power Kid Goku, right? But like there's two like fringe top grossing characters Dokkan has already had, like recently, that people don't think about. So it's like Dokkan is not doing as bad um as some people think. But a pity system where you pull three of each unit you already have, 100%, you could trade them for the main. This is, no. Th okay. This is too generous, though. I, I, I just, like, like you guys just don't, I, like, I, I would say you're thinking as, like, a free-to-play mindset with this. You, you have to think about how the game operates. Think about some of the summon sessions I've gone. LR Bulma. It took me 3,000... 600 to pull LR Bulma, something like that. Dokkan, I would imagine, is making most of its money from big whales like me, right? Like, it's like there's, you know, a thousand more people like me, right? It's like one of these whales, you know, I don't know, Nano. Oh my god, he killed it with Bulma. But then the, the other whale gets shafted, me, in, in this example, right? It's like Dokkan, a lot of this money is going to be, you know, pulled in by a lot of the, the big whales that are summoning like crazy, it, it this is so uh, this is so easy like it's like people would be getting these characters in like just a couple of hundred stones At, like like it's like yeah you have to think about whales are you kidding me i would get i would i get this like second multi second multi i just get bulma for free because i'm pulling other lrs like <clears throat> and that's actually too generous I, I, I would think what what's an example of like realistic pity? Um 
maybe at a thousand stones, you can get one copy of the new unit for free. I think that would work. They could do that. Thousand stones, you get one copy of the unit for free. Would be, I think, a fine pity. Now, I know, again, free-to-play players are going to hear that and go, Oh my god, that's way too much. Uh, and, uh, no, you just need to not spend your stones like a crackhead. You, you gotta be smart with your stones. That, uh, what I just described, would only be a huge buff towards free-to-play players. Because you will always be able to get the unit you want. But you just, again, have to target banners wisely. Pity would even more so create a system where it's smart to summon on only specific banners and not all banners. Uh, well, uh, Trash Baby, I don't... There, I've seen very few people argue this Super 17 as, like, super good. This is not really a hot take. This is, like, common opinion. LRB is the most hurtful release ever for the community. Yeah, I mean, it's Dilkon's biggest fumble. No, 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 no. Beast is the biggest fumble. 7th Anniversary Part 2 did suck, yeah. Uh, tech to you, our Goku isn't as good as people say. Unless you build the team around him, have good RNG. It's uh, Here's the thing with, with Goku. For Goku to be that good, though, RNG is not really the biggest factor. Um, it, right? Like, it, it, it's more so a thing where you're having, like, the GT Goku and Vegeta revive quickly and stuff like that. Super Saiyan 3, Goku and Vegeta over the year fives? No. Nah. I, I mean, I'm already... I, I assume that's, that's what Lily is saying, right? Nah, the the fifth anniversary Blue Fusions are the most popular release ever. Kai... Oh, okay. See... <laughs> I probably would agree with that, actually. Int Kid Gohan top 15 minimum, sure. Hope you have a good day. Thank you, I am. Okay, okay. This is, I'm reading a lot from one person up. We'll keep going. LR Cooler is underrated. I see discussion on both sides for him, so I don't know if I'd say underrated. Uh, yep, Carnival Goku's good. Physical Goku Pickle isn't amazing, correct. They're, this is the definition of a mid-character. They are, you know, middle of the pack. I, that unit is not good, and I would not say they're bad either, right? A lot of times I am very meme Oh my god, they're terrible! But it's like, they're mid. You know, a true... People take mid as like a huge negative thing, but that's literally describing physical Goku and Piccolo. Mid. All right? They are mid. Gamma 2. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. Gamma 2 is either heavily underrated or overrated by most Goony. I agree. He's just below physical kid Goku. Yep. Facts. Facts. Spitting. Uh, we are at 48 minutes. Um, I could see this. I can. Kid Goku as well? I could, I could see. I mean, th this is, I wouldn't put Kid Goku above this guy, but, um, God Goku, I would, yeah. SR Among Us Goku over SR Big Bad Bosses Vegeta. Okay, all right. Sure, Micro, sure. Slot locking and disabling dodge is a horrendous way of increasing difficulty. Slot locking, yes. I think do uh, dodge canceling is is good difficulty though. I, they're, they're, it, dodge canceling would maybe be bad if literally every single fight had it, but that I think that's a good way to make fights different. I don't think disabling dodge is bad. You guys, I'm the biggest dodge dick rider in the world. I think them having dodge canceling events is a good thing. It's like, if they overdid it, it would would be maybe stupid. But, like, right now, the toughest fights are Cell Max, Red Zone Broly, um, Red Zone Metal Cooler Core, right? Eighth Anniversary Sin, right? Um, <clears throat> maybe, like, Red Zone Cell Max, maybe Red Zone Omega. Like, those are some of the toughest fights in the game. The only one that cancels Dodge is Broly. I, that's fine. I, you know, it, it gives Broly a different type of difficulty than some of the other stages. Because you can't dodge. I like it. Slot locking is bullshit, though. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, this is probably not true, but Bulma is going to stick around for quite a while, I'm sure. Best aging main anniversary unit. 
maybe. I mean, you do have to keep in mind that the 4th Anniversary LRs were massively buffed by the Link level update. GT Super Saiyan 4 characters are some of the most buffed characters by the Link level update. With Big Bad Bosses characters, the Universe 6 girls, right? Um, maybe this guy is the best aging unit. I, I would almost want to think about this a lot more. He might be. Oh, wow, this came up again. Yeah, again, guys, as the biggest Dokkan Dick Rider, I I disagree. I do. Um, but it, it, I, I, you know, I just explained it, yeah. But it's like, if, if like, you know, they give us four super tough fights and one of the four disables dodge, I think that's healthy and good. It creates a different type of difficulty for that stage. I think it's a good thing. Dokkan not having a real pity is okay. Uh, oh, I, I disagree. I think Dokkan should have a pity. I just don't think they're going to do it until they've fallen off again. Uh, what? Global and JP sinking would be very negative for the game. How? I don't... It would be very negative for, like, my YouTube channel, right? Because it's like, one thing that happens is, you know, okay, Global is about to move into the 8th anniversary... Time to double dip with 8th anniversary videos, and then all the videos I dropped in January and February explode as well, right? But, like, that's, like, like literally, that's the only thing I could think of, where I am always saying, I've said since, what, 2016? There's videos of me playing Dokkan in 2016 where I'm saying that they should catch Global up. I, I don't really see the downsides, besides if I'm looking at this from a YouTube perspective, for myself personally, or, like, Nano. Right, or something like that. Like, that's it. Uh, it There's no downsides whatsoever. I, I personally... I mean, maybe this is a, a me thing. I think, like, maybe Global losing some tickets and stuff like that to just get caught up would be way better. I think a lot of the frustrations that a lot of players have, even if they don't realize it, it it's, it's because they're playing Global, which has kind of, like, the cloak of inferiority or something like that, right? Because it's like, oh, we got 23rd World Tournament Goku, but oops, we don't have the GT Goku and Vegeta that make him, you know, full power. Oh, you know, we don't have this one thing that JP's got, right? Like, it's always a never-ending cycle of shit like that. You just catch the games up. I think the games should be treated exactly the same. I think they should get the same shit. I think they should get the same shit at the same time. There should be no differences whatsoever. I think that's... The only difference should be the language of what you're playing. That's it. Right? That That's the best way to handle it. I, I see no scenario where catching up is negative. I, I think even people who say they don't want the game to catch up would actually be very happy once they've experienced it caught up. I do think so. I, I, I just can't... There are so many problems. Global has so many issues. If you guys have been you know following the game for a while or following my videos for a while, you'll know this. Global will have like same time releases or global firsts always leads to issues it always does i, I could I, i've done videos breaking down all the different situations and stuff like that it always leads to problems for whatever reason maybe it's the spaghetti code of the game or whatever they're not very good with for global moving things around right if they release everything at you know in the same order same time that jp did they they typically can do it without fail but once you start moving stuff around, there's always a lot of issues Global has to deal with. And if the games were just caught up, that would disappear forever. And I think that's a big deal. I'm going to end there. 53 minutes. Uh, man, I, I feel like I'm never even really able to even scratch the surface, dude. Uh, like, it's just like there's so... Oh, oh, oh. Sooner Global and JP sync, the better. Almost half the year is same time now. Which causes multiple issues for Global. Oh, my God. See, this guy Ningen, man, he knows ball. He does. He does. I'm not ashamed to admit that he knows ball, yeah. Gamma's worldwide down units still not returning yet. Yeah, yeah, that dude, that's crazy, yeah. Yeah, well. Because it's like those characters came back four months ago on GP. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anniversary content feeling less rewarding challenge-wise, yeah. More top tier units are available. Yep, yep, yep. All true, all true. Although, to be fair, the 8th anniversary sin... He gets destroyed by all the top tier units anyway. What he is is a noob stomper, right? Eighth anniversary sin just crushes weaker characters, is what he is. Uh Zoro's the best possible choice for an anime crossover. If Dokkan ever does so. Better than even Luffy. No, come on. Bruh. It, it, they would do uh what is it? Gear 5, Bugs Bunny, Luffy. 
in Dokkan, and then uh, One Piece gets, like, UI Goku, right? It's, like, what would happen. Both white-haired, right? All right, well, we're done. Uh, let me know what you guys think about uh, the community's hot takes and stuff like that. I always enjoy doing these. I don't want to spam them. We went really long. I I wish I could get more people's thoughts in these videos, but it's, it's just tough. I Maybe I'll do a part two. There's just, dude, there's so many. Maybe I'll scroll back up. And I, I think I'll do a part two and upload it tomorrow. I do have fun doing these as well. Where were we? Zahal. I think we're gonna we're we're gonna pick this back up in a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna upload this right now and I'll I'll do a follow up part two tomorrow. Uh, well, I'm gonna record it in a bit, but I'll I'll upload it tomorrow. We'll we'll, we'll stay right here because it's like I do feel bad. Like it's like yeah, what do we have like a thousand replies and hundred plus quotes? Like I I want to get people stuff in here, so it's fine. Uh, let me know what you guys think of everything. I love y'all, and I'll catch you guys next time.